you know, it, it raises a question, you know, what argument does Hank Greenberg have to go back to the court and say we deserve the billions that we're seeking? Right. The question here really is, will he have to prove the value of AIG shares or will he have to say, you know, right without remedy, right? Is a right without remedy a right at all? Mm -hmm. So it's saying, you know, did we win if there's really no money involved here? That's So he, when he goes back to the court, we can really see Well, it. clearly to him, it's not a true win. Right. And, you know, uh, uh, people close to him say that, look, he, you know, he feels like he's representing, you know, and he is representing 275,000 other shareholders. So there's a big group uh, that feels the same way. Uh, I think that the point of contention uh, in that decision is, you know, the judge said he believed the stock was going to go to zero. This is why uh, this is why the shareholders should deserve should deserve nothing. However, you know, as, Green, as, as Greenberg and, and, and people close to him would argue at the time, maybe some other bidder could have come along and bought AIG. Maybe there could have been some other rescue plan in the private sector that could have bailed AIG out. I mean, are those plausible reasons to uh, to appeal this verdict? Right. I mean, I'm, those are definitely things he might argue, plus the terms of the loan were harsh, right? So that he might argue that as well. The government did turn a $22 billion profit afterwards. So he right. might, those are all things that he might bring to the table later on. That's right, that they made, that they earned money. Right. I mean, obviously, after the bailout, though, right. after the government bailout. Yeah. Uh, there's also some other news, though, about AIG, because we saw shares of that company pop on the back of this decision. But there's other news about some management positions right. at AIG. Really exciting. So the guy who's effectively CIO right now, he's been looking to retire for a while, is what we understand, right? So um, Peter Hancock, who took charge last year, mm -hmm. he has been really reshaping management and who he's going to choose for this position. It's a $350 portfolio, a billion dollar portfolio, uh, one of the biggest, right? Um, and you know, as rates have been so low, uh, is it going to be someone from Wall Street? That's what we're wondering. Is it going to be, a, or is it going to be someone from the insurance industry? So um, other insurers, Aflac, Lincoln, they they have they've brought people from Wall Street, Goldman Asset Management specifically, right. that have done things specific to insurance. Okay, so there's, that's a big position to be filled at AIG.